What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Redeemer23, Collectibles. Um, there's something I had to address real quick. I will be addressing it later on tonight with Fatal the Collector, because, yes, we are going live. Uh, the Cool Nerds Lounge is, is back, and we're going to be talking about SDCC and everything that's included, from Hot Toys from uh, Prime One Studios, from PCS, uh, and from uh, quite a few other companies, including Iron Studios. But I just want to address one issue. Um, uh, as you guys know, um, Hot Toys is bringing the heat. And I just, this is a, just a, I, I would say a little rant, a little vent. Um, I just I haven't even done a review on this figure myself, but this is a little rant that I had to put out there, and I'm I'm just gonna upload it. Uh, and, and if you guys love it, you love it. If you don't, you know, if you have a difference of opinion, that's okay, cause I value your difference of opinion on what specifically I'm going to talk about right now. Not gonna go too long, but this is what I gotta say. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I also got to say this. God bless you guys. I pray you guys are having a wonderful day. And yes, I had a spectacular time in Puerto Rico. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed the sun. Enjoyed the people. Enjoyed the camaraderie. I enjoyed every bit of that r, &R vacation. So with that being said, this is what I want to talk about. Okay. Hot Toys is bringing the heat um, with... Uh, so far, I've seen two. I've seen quite a few things from Hot Toys, but these specific two Hot Toys figures, which is the Anakin Skywalker and the Dark Knight uh, Hot Toys exclusive sculpted and rooted hair versions. Here we go. Now, what I wanted to talk about is that. Now we have a lot, quite a few YouTubers out here that are, I guess you could say, some of them are trying to go on a rant, trying to try to convince people, oh, you really didn't need it, blah, 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 like going back on their word, but it's because Hot Toys, let's be honest, if you guys seen the picture, pictures, which I'm pretty sure you have, that Dark Knight Joker, that Anakin Skywalker, the rooted hair, amazing it's amazing the sculpt in the faces the separate eye rolling system amazing simply amazing it's 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 everything that we complained about at first when Inart came out with their figure which by the way I have the Inart don't get me wrong I I love the figure that I have of the Dark Knight uh, Joker, he does Joker, but I do have some issues with it. I don't like the magnetic stand. I don't like that you have to finagle with it just be just to balance it out because the ankles are weak because the feet are magnetic. I don't tend to like that you have heavy artillery or rather heavy handguns and it can dislodge the magnetic joints from the wrist pegs that's another issue but all in all the figure I would give it an 8 out of 10 because the sculpt is great the hair sculpt is great the eyes I do like the rolling eye system but I don't like the single pad which by the way even though I don't consider it pet, I do I do think it's pet pendant. I don't know, but Hot Toys had that at first with their DX11. If we all remember that, it did have that single peg where you were able to do it. But Hot Toys turned away from that because of that single peg system being so tight. Sometimes it will break. Which, by the way, if you do have the NR Joker, you will see that it gets tight sometimes. So, just a fair warning, if it happens to break on you guys, I'm letting you know, that's why Hot Toys has the separate rolling eye system.
which they created, which they came out with the single rolling iron system, which it connected to the little bracket. You guys know what I'm talking about. Now, with that being said, we got YouTubers out here that are saying, and, and, and it does the thing. Everybody has a right to their opinion. But it's getting me upset because of the fact, it's like this. I haven't even reviewed the in art. I already told you what I felt about it. But this is the thing. To downgrade Hot Toys for a figure that was more than more than 10 years old and say, oh, this is better than a DX11 Joker that, that now on the secondary market costs $700. Everybody's always complaining about that. And this is what turns me out. Your dog, Hot Toys. And then you say you don't, but yes, you do. Because you're doing a comparison with a figure, which is which is ridiculous to me. It's like, you know, I, I also, you guys know me. I get, I, I love Jordans. I, I'm a sneakerhead. I have quite a few pairs. It's like, you get one pair and you had it for 10 years, it's still in good condition, and then a new pair comes out of that same model, same color, everything, but it's done a little bit better with better leather quality and all that. Me, I don't complain about it. I just go get it. I don't do, oh, well, this and that, and oh, I'm going to come, oh, man, they should have done better. If I, come on. It's a no fair situation. Because it was the first time around. And now, since you guys did videos, speaking of you YouTubers, you guys know who you are. Since you guys did videos and did the comparison with the DX11, that's why Hot Toys bring the heat. That is why they did what they did. And that is why you're sitting there making videos and complaining about it. Because I've seen the videos. Remember, we're all a community, so I'm going to check out the videos because I want to hear what your opinions are. Just like you would like to hear what my opinion is, which that's what I'm giving right now, my opinion. Now, this is my thing. If you're going to complain and do a comparison and then dog out hot toys, then they come out and they bring the heat. And trust me, that Dark Knight Hot Toys Joker... That artisan one with the rooted hair and even the, with the sculpted hair, that, that facial sculpt is bar none, killing, it's murdering in art. Yes, I said it, it's murdering. Now, this is the thing. Everybody talks about, oh, they did a good job with a diorama. Yeah, that's if you buy two figures of in art, which you have to spend roughly close to a thousand to eleven hundred dollars for because remember we're not including shipping and tax let's talk about that so for me i just got the sculpt the hair version i was fine with it and i was happy with it it was great why did i get it because i liked it i really did and i still love it i think it's awesome i i have my nitpicks which i said and i will do a review on it so you can hear my detailed review on that. But they did, in art did a phenomenal job. But I didn't knock Hot Toys. I didn't go and get pictures, and I could have. I didn't go get pictures or anything like that. Because if we want to say something, yeah, they came out with the bombs and all that. So did Hot Toys. Hot Toys had more blades and guns. Even though they were plastic, the blades were steel, but the, the guns were plastic, but they had everything plus then some more than in art. And we all know that. We all know that for a fact. Plus, they had the blades and the shoes. In art didn't do that. They gave you one blade. Hot Toys gave you pencil. Four blades, blades in the shoes, and yet we're sitting there we're sitting there complaining about that. That for me is simply ridiculous. <laughs> Sorry, this guy just burning all types of, of oil speeding by. 
But for me, it's like, come on, man. You know, we shouldn't have did that. As a community, we should encourage. One thing is to critique. Another thing is to straight up criticize and downgrade another company. That I don't do. You guys know me. I like Big Chief Studios. I like Daft Toys. I like Damn Toys. I like all types of, of different 1-6 scale companies. I like different statue companies. Iron Studios. Uh, Pure Arts. Um, Sideshow. Uh, t- uh, PCS. Premium Collectible Studios. Um, Tweeterhead. You know, list can go on and on. But to downgrade other other companies, that wasn't cool. And you know, it, I, I've kept my I, I've kept my my opinion about that to myself because I was like, man, that just isn't cool. But this, uh, now that I've heard certain opinions on, on certain uh, uh, YouTubers and they're talking, oh, Hot Toys didn't really need. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. They needed to do it because they needed to show all you collectors out there. That they bring in the heat, and this is what you get for trying to downgrade Hot Toys. Because down, because when you do that, you only bring out the best of someone, and that's what Hot Toys did. They bring their best to the table. They got a different sculptor. They got they got different people working on on the on the hair sculpt and all that. And guess what? It's killing. That Anakin Skywalker, it's murdering. No matter what anybody says, oh man, well this is this is a, a this is a, a, a travesty. This this is terrible because you know we're 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 over here. Um, we we thought we had a, 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 the figure. Now they're coming out with a new one. Well, you shouldn't have complained about the first one. And that's when it happened. That's why Hot Toys decides to upgrade on you. And that's why things happen the way they do. Because you guys put another company and you guys do a, do a comparison and you dog the other company out. So Hot Toys said, okay, bet. We're going to bring the heat. And when we bring the heat, don't trip. When we re-release a figure, reissue it, do better colors, better articulation, better tailoring, and all that. Because let me tell you that, dinner, that, that in our Joker's tailoring was superb. But so was the John Wick by Hot Toys. That was the most awesome tailoring on that on a Hot Toys figure that I had seen thus far. Along with the Nightmare Batman. Along with this new Dark Knight Joker that Hot Toys is bringing. So I just had to say that, you know. So be it as it may, keep on complaining. Because they're going to re-release figures and you guys are going to go to Inart and get a figure. Then they're going to re-release a figure. And guess what? Another thing too, I guarantee they're going to do a good pricing. I'm not saying $250. Come on. We're not living in a $250 era anymore. We're talking about, you know, there are some that are out there that, that price. But we're talking about this is rooted hair. You expect to pay more. If you pay five hundred or six hundred or, or, or close to seven hundred for a rooted hair Dark Knight Joker from Men Art, and this one comes out to be four hundred dollars plus all the accessories plus a light up base. Yes, a light up base with the Dark Knight symbol. Come on, people. They murdering it. I, I give them credit. Clap it up for them. I give them credit. Let's go. Let's go. Show them. Show all the collectors that complain. That's all I got to say. All you collectors that complain, the you YouTubers that complain, now you're going to go out there and spend more money and get that hot toys. Guaranteed you will. Guaranteed I'll be seeing you eat crow. And the thing about it, you'll say that you didn't say that, but back in your videos, you did. Because I've seen them all. I'm not mentioning no names, but I got to call it like I see it. You guys know who you are. You guys know who you are. I said, watch out for Inart. Man, Inart is, 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 is 
oh, they're doing their thing. And the thing about it, I bet you in art and hot toys, they're not even thinking that way. But you guys made it that way. See, I like, I love hot toys. I love in art. I love all one six scale. That's why I don't complain about the next man. I'll, I'll say this should have been better. This should have been, that's critiquing. But I don't go, oh man, this is a terrible figure for what they, we're talking about an 11 past 10 year old figure. And people had the audacity to do a, a comparison. I could say now is it's better than it was before. But if you look at anything in life, go get a Samsung TV from 10 years ago and go buy purchase one now at Best Buy. See if there'll be a difference in the visuals. See if there'll be a difference in the apps. See if there'll be a difference in the sound quality. Times change. That's how it is. That's just how it is. That's why I'm saying always be, always critique, but don't downgrade and criticize another company. Because in the end, you're going to eat crow and take and go back to your wording and be like, I really underestimated Hot Toys. And you'll be saying it on a YouTube video because, of course, you guys want that them views. Just like I want the views. <laughs> Anyways, this is Redeemer 23 Collectibles coming at you with the real. God bless you guys. You guys stay blessed. And I'll catch you guys tonight. This video will be uploaded right now. No cuts, no editing. Y'all getting it raw. God bless you guys. I love you guys. I'm out.